If you're looking for that perfect piece of decor, maybe a piece of jewelry, or maybe even a gift, look no further than the fine arts and crafts that are happening this weekend. Local artists will be bringing their work all to one place thanks to the Monday Club. Connie Williford and Victory Cooper are here to tell us more. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you yes. for inviting us. So, Victory, I want our... Uh, I want to start with you, Connie, and kind of talk to you about the Monday Club just in general. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay. Well, the ladies earlier were talking about the 1800s right. in Unicoi. Well, back in 1892, 10 women got together and formed the um, Ladies' Reading Circle. And that led into the nucleus of the Johnson City Public Library. And the, jo uh, the Monday Club is a service organization of the Johnson City Public Library and the, the Fine Arts Fair this weekend uh, will benefit uh, all the proceeds that uh, profits and so forth that mm -hmm. we make not the vendors but that we make will benefit and go to the library uh, for services that they have for programs and so forth that they have um, and as I said as a service organization this is the third annual uh, Fine Arts and Crafts Fair with vendors from all over the area, the, re the region. Mm -hmm. Most, some of them are local artists. Yeah. And, uh, and you guys there. brought some, uh, some here in Victory. You were actually going to tell us a little bit about some of the artists that people can expect at this fair. Yes, I'm so excited <laughs> because right here we have very fine art. Mm -hmm. You do not have to go to North Carolina to see fine art. This year we're going to have Richard Dwyer back he does these beautiful bowls beautiful. Out, of out of burl wood. Uh, Sarah Dorr is going to be with us again. Last year she created this, and I can't wait to see what so she's pretty. done this year. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Uh, we're also going to have Nancy Fishman. Nancy does a lot of beautiful pottery as well. Mm -hmm. She's returning this year. This is a piece that we, I purchased last year and it was fun to have in my home. Mm -hmm. uh, Carolyn White comes up here from Powell and she's a big hit as well. Yeah. She's doing a lot of jean types of things. The latest in whatever style the one finds out there. Uh, I think it'll be fun to have her again this okay. year. It'll be fun to see what she brings, oh, right? <laughs> should say all the are individual yeah. I mean one of a kind types of things and yes, yes and, jewelry and too. my necklace Beautiful. this was Tammy Moore she has done that and uh, I really enjoy all of the things that these artists bring. It's hard to decide what to buy at the end of this Why time. not buy it all, right? That's right. And well, it's free. And it's free. Well, it's free to get in. Not the virgin guy. Right. It's free to get in. Right. And like you said, though, that the profits that you all make goes right back into the Johnson City Public Library, right. which is huge. And yes. one other thing I want to mention, mm -hmm. this year we're very fortunate to have some of the artists, the, the photography artists and the sculpture artists that were part of the library program for and they the library received a grant mm -hmm. and they had classes and we're going to be able to see what the results are of these classes and everybody will be absolutely amazed sounds how great. wonderful this presentation will be oh uh, well it's going to be a fun couple of days for you all thank you so much for coming on and kind of showing us what people can expect when they come to the fine arts and crafts fair it's happening at the johnson city public library it is free and it's happening tomorrow and saturday from 11 to 5.